Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. So in the last class we were doing the chapter geometry, right? And we saw how to do measurement of length and also how to draw a straight line, correct? So we uh, did length of line segment and how to draw a line segment. And also we saw different parts of a geometry box. So what all does the geometry box have? A geometry box has a ruler a protractor set squares divider and compass it has total of five items so what is a ruler it is used to draw and measure line segments okay so what is a compass a compass is nothing but it helps you to draw uh, various shapes okay it helps you in geometrical constructions and protractor protractor is a semi-circular transparent tool which helps you to measure angles and also it will help you to draw angles okay then we have set squares and dividers okay divider helps you to compare length of two line segments all right so these are the various things in your geometry box okay so mostly ruler compass and protractors are used than set squares and dividers okay let me saw how to measure length of a line segment to measure length of a line segment what you'll do you'll start you'll keep the zero of the scale on one point and at the other point whatever is the marking is you'll note that value so here this line is six centimeters long correct and then we saw how to construct a straight line so how will you construct a straight line first you'll you uh, using a ruler and pencil you'll draw a long line okay then what you do now you may uh, now here they've told measure 4.1 centimeters so what you do is you keep your compass at uh, you put a pencil into the pencil holder in your compass okay the metal tip you keep at zero and you measure 4.1 centimeters once you measure that keep your metal tip at point a on your line okay and then draw a arc like this so this arc will be drawn at uh, 4.1 centimeters away from a so this point you can mark as b so the line segment a b will be 4.1 centimeters okay so this is how you construct an line, seg line segment now what we'll do is we'll study what are the different types of angles and how to measure and draw angles okay so first of all we'll see measuring angle so what is an angle an angle is nothing but it is defined as the amount of turn between two straight lines that share a common end point okay so now if you look at the diagram shown here these are the two straight lines this is one straight line and this is another one correct and we they both the lines meet at a common end point which is a common end point here the common end point is this one okay this is the common end point now now if i name this line over here a b okay if i line the name a b so this is a and this is point b okay now if this line turns okay if this line is turning now and this stops over here okay now we'll name the new position here as c okay so this is known as ray a c so we have two rays here now a b and a c okay the how much now how much this ray a b turns is known as the amount of turn okay it is known as the amount of turn which will be the angle angle is always formed at the common end point okay and it is measured in degrees so what is used to measure an angle and protractor is used to measure an angle correct so some terms associated with angles you have a vertex what is a vertex vertex of an angle is the common point where two lines meet okay it's a point where two lines meet a ray is nothing but it is a it are, is the two lines which meet at a point they are called the arms of the angle okay then a uh, degree or it is unit used to measure angles uni usually denoted by the symbol over here then protractor protractor is a tool used to measure angles okay now what if you want to name angle name an angle how do you name an angle here now okay as uh, i'd name the points a b c right 
so this was a then this is b and i'll name this point over here c okay so i've named the rays here now the rays and the vertex so how will i write the angle okay how will i write the angle how will you label an angle so when you are labeling an angle you write it like this so this is a symbol which shows angle okay and then uh, you'll write the uh, three points which form the angle okay so here we have the three points c a and b so now where is the angle formed the angle is formed at point a right so a will be in between so i'll write c then a and b okay so this is angle c a b now you can also write this angle as angle b a c but you should remember that this letter a should always be in the middle because the angle is formed at the point a or, or the vertex a okay so a will always be in middle okay so this is how you name an angle then we have four types of angles so what are these four types of angles first one is the right angle what is in right angle when an angle measures 90 degree then it is called as a right angle so the angle that you can see in the picture there is a right angle it measures 90 degrees okay then next we have acute angle what is an acute angle it is an angle which measures less than 90 degree and greater than zero okay it should be greater than zero and less than 90 and then obtuse angle what is an obtuse angle an angle which is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree is called as an obtuse angle all right then last we have a straight line what is a straight line a straight angle sorry is not straight line a straight angle is an angle that measures 180 degrees okay it is an angle that measures 180 degrees so these are the different types of angles so now we'll see how to measure angles so how do you measure angles as we uh, just saw angles are measured in degrees and that is the symbol that denotes degree correct and we use a protractor to find out the degree measure of a given angle now a protract protractor has two scales inner scale and an outer scale okay each scale starts from zero and ends at 180 degrees okay so the horizontal line segment joining zero and 180 degree mark is called as the base line so this is the base line over here which joins zero and 180 okay now the midpoint of the baseline is called the center of the protractor that is this one this is the center of the protractor which is the midpoint of the base line okay now to measure an angle okay they, here they've given an angle a o b okay this is a o and b so angle is formed at o okay so to measure the angle what you'll do is you'll place the protractor along the arm OA okay you'll place it al along the arm OA so this is the arm OA here so you'll keep it along this arm so your baseline of the protractor should coincide with your arm OA here okay okay or line OA it should coincide okay and then the center of the protractor that is there should be at point O okay it should coincide with point O now now the angle pointed out by the arm OB is noted as 50 degrees so the arrow shows the direction of a reading so the arrows here are towards the right correct so we'll start reading from towards the right so from right to left you have a z you always start counting from zero remember that you always start counting from zero so zero here is in the inner scale so we'll start this 0 10 20 30 40 50 so arm OB makes an angle of 50 degrees correct so angle AOB is 50 degrees okay now if you look at the figures over here the measure of angle pqr is 60 degree and we also write it as m pqr is equal to 60 degree now in figure 2 measure of angle def is 130 degree so if you look at figure 1 the rays are towards your left so you'll start measuring from the left hand side so the center of the protractor will be at point q here okay and the baseline is on line qr okay so you'll start from zero from the left 
okay so you'll read the outer scale so pq is at 60 degrees now coming to figure 2 you'll keep the protractor at point e which is the vertex or the common point and then you keep the baseline on the line ef now the uh, rays are towards now this ray base ray is towards uh, sorry the ray on which you have kept the baseline is towards your right correct sorry towards your left so you'll we'll start reading from the left so 0 10 now this ray ed is at 130 degrees so angle def is 130 degrees all right so this is how you measure angles now coming to constructions of angles how do you construct angles now same way what you'll do is you'll first of all draw a ray bc okay draw a straight line or a horizontal line and you can name it anything you want to name it bc pq r whatever you want okay so here they have named it bc then after naming it what you'll do keep the center or uh, yeah keep the center of your protractor at point b okay and since bc is pointing towards the right you start counting from the right side of the protractor so 0 10 20 30 so here we are drawing an angle of 140 degree okay so we will start from 0 now 140 degree is over here correct so now you will mark a point here at 40 degree then you move the protractor and join the point A to B so you will get an angle like this okay so this will be angle ABC which is 140 degrees okay so this is how you construct angles we will see a video on how to construct angles and measure angles now. Let's learn how to measure an angle. Let us begin by learning about the geometric instrument protractor. A protractor is used to measure angles. Two, angles are measured in degrees. Three, each tiny mark on the protractor shows one degree. It has markings from 0 degree to 180 degrees. We can read 0 to 180 degrees from left to right and also from right to left. Four. While measuring an angle, the central point is placed on the vertex of the angle. Now, let's see how to measure an angle. Measure the angle PQR. To measure an angle, we need to follow a five-step process. Step 1. Place the central point of the protractor on the vertex Q of angle PQR. R. Step 2. Ensure that the 0 degree line coincides with one arm, say ray QR. Step 3. Count from 0 degree on the right side as PQR points to the right side. Step 4. Read the degree measure that coincides with ray PQ. Step 5. Write that measure as the measure of the angle in degrees. Thus, we get measure of the angle PQR is equal to 75 degrees. Let's measure few more angles. Look at the figure. Measuring, we get the measure of the angle PIV as 90 degrees. Look at this angle. On 
measuring it, we get the answer as mn is equal to 145 degree. Wasn't it fun measuring angles? In the next session, constructing angles. We have already studied how to measure an angle. Today, let us learn how to construct an angle. Construct an angle x, y, z of 140 degrees. To construct, we need to follow a six-step process. Step 1. With the help of a ruler, draw 3, y, z and name it. Step 2. Place the central point of the protractor on y such that the zero degree line coincides with ray by z. Step 3. Count from the zero degree on the right. Step 4. Mark point x corresponding to 140 degrees. Step 5. Remove the protractor and draw ray by x. Step 6. Write the measure of the angle as angle x by z is equal to 140 degrees. Now, let's construct one more angle. Construct an angle m n c of 85 degrees. Angle M N C of 85 degrees has been constructed. Kids, draw a few more angles so that you become perfect at it. So now we'll solve exercise 5.3. Okay. So first question here is name each of the angles in three different ways. So how can you name the angles here in three different ways? So first one you can write the angle as angle P Q R. Okay. You have to draw the angle symbol before I am not doing it. You all uh, just draw it. Okay. So I will show for one. Similarly you have to draw for also angle like this. Alright. Then we have angle P Q R. Then how can you name the angle again? You can name it as angle R Q P Okay, angle R, Q, P and also you can name it as S, Q, R. Okay, so these are three ways to name this angle. Then, next one. So, how will you name this angle now? We will name it as angle L, M, N. Okay, also you can name it as angle N, M, L and also you can name it as K, M, L. Okay, angle K, M, L. So, if you look at the first two questions now, Q is always, the letter Q is always in the middle and in the second one, letter M is always in the middle. That is because Q, is, angle an angle formed here is at Q. So, Q will come in between and here, if you read the names, you will know that the angle is formed at M. So, M will come in middle, okay. So, this was question 1. Now, for question 2, they have told you to measure the angles and name the type. So, use a protractor, measure the angles okay i'll just give you the type of angle here the angle abc if you look at the angle it looks like an it is a less than 90 degree correct so it will be an acute angle coming to angle def now if you look at it it looks greater than 90 degrees okay it is actually greater than 90 degrees so it will be angle it will be an obtuse angle okay it is called as an obtuse angle so when you measure the last angle it will be around 90 degrees so this will uh, not around it will be 90 degrees so this is a right angle okay now here question 3 they have told construct the following angles using a roller and a protractor okay name the type of angles so you have to draw these angles and name the type okay so you all know how to do construction i have shown you all how to do construction of angles 
सो डू दैट एंड फॉर नेमिंग यू कैन नेम इट्स ईजी एंगल ए बी सी इज थर्टी डिग्री सो इट इज़ एन अक्यूट एंगल ओके इट्स एन अक्यूट एंगल दैन एंगल पी क्यू आर विच इज सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री इट इज़ लेस दैन नाइन्टी सो दिस विल ऑल्सो बी एन अक्यूट एंगल दैन नाइन्टी डिग्री वॉट अबाउट नाइन्टी डिग्री इट इज़ अ डाइट एंगल एंड एल एम एन इज वन एटी डिग्री सो दैट विल बी अ स्ट्रेट एंगल ओके इट इज़ अ स्ट्रेट एंगल नाउ सेम वे डू क्वेश्चन फोर फॉर होमवर्क ओके दे हैव टोल्ड मेजर ईच लाइन सेगमेंट एंड एंगल इन दिस फिगर एंड राइट द वैल्यू सो दिस इज अ ट्राइंगल राइट सो ट्राइंगल हैज थ्री साइड्स सो मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ द थ्री साइड्स सो हियर यू हैव टू मेजर लेंथ ऑफ ए बी लेंथ बी सी एंड लेंथ ए सी एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू मेजर द थ्री एंगल्स ओवर हियर ओके राइट मेजर एंड राइट द वैल्यूज ऑल राइट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द चैप्टर ज्योमेट्री ओके सो दिस कंप्लीट्स दिस चैप्टर ज्योमेट्री सो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑल राइट थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स